Hello and welcome again to this C++ video lecture series. So in this video, we are going to learn about the copy constructor. So I'm taking the same example of a previous program. Uh, I have took, I have declared one class with the name ABC and here are two set of uh, constructors. Uh, one is the zero argument constructor and second is the parameterized constructor and in which I have used an initializer list. So this is your initializer list. With initializer list, I just initialized my data member A and B. Okay, so now in a main, I just declared an object with the two values. So now uh, before uh, jumping to the practical, implementation i would like to share that whenever you're declaring any object of a class the three things is provided by default right it's by default if you're not declaring that thing the compiler is going to throw it default that is a we already discussed default constructor second one is default copy constructor it should be y default copy constructor and third is default assignment operator so whenever you're not uh, giving any of the constructor the compiler is using the default constructor fine and now we are going to you know demonstrate the copy constructor uh, in this example uh, first we are going to just invoking the default copy constructor fine so then uh, we can also demonstrate the default assignment operator so now let's uh, do one thing just to declare abc object 2 that is equals to object 1 so now here your default copy constructor is called so now whatever the data member value of o1 is going to be assigned one by one to object two so now if i am going to write o2 dot show you can observe that you know all the values are copied to the o2 so now the third method i'm going to declare abc03 so now i have declared I, we have discussed earlier that whenever you're going to declare an object a corresponding match of that uh, constructor is called so now here o3 is calling the this constructor without any argument it's calling that constructor o3 i'm going to assign something from o1 so now let's do o3 dot show fine so now here what will happen here uh, your default assignment operator is called for objects so now let's try to run our program so now you can see the default mechanism of calling uh, of the your default constructor is done so next uh, lecture we are going to see that why it is uh, sometimes mandatory to declare your own copy constructor right? till now just uh, subscribe to my channel if you hadn't subscribed yet 
so that you can have update uh, alerts from my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and keep tuned to my next video.